Welcome back to From My Living Room to Yours. This past Sunday, I asked for a drum roll and then made our big announcement that we finally have a building permit, which means construction fencing went up on Monday and asbestos abatement begins today. We've known this day would eventually come, but when I said the words that we'd been waiting for this day for four and a half years, I was completely taken off guard by how emotional I became, how emotional I feel right now. I had tears, I have tears in my eyes, about a building project. It almost doesn't seem possible. A few minutes later, as I introduced our annual blessing of the graduates, and I asked, do we have any graduates here? Two little hands flew up in the air. Zeke graduated from kindergarten and Dominic graduated from preschool. And more tears come to my eyes. How I have missed seeing the children of our parish up close and in action. Later, as I reflected on these emotions, I remembered how creative we are as humans. Much of it happens subconsciously, but to weather the storms of our lives, we resiliently find ways of basically denying the reality of our current circumstances just so that we can survive. Even when we think we're just managing, our bodies and souls are finding creative ways of keeping us from going down the deep well of misery. But when the storm's over, we often realize how much we've been holding it together. It's then that we can finally exhale and be honest with ourselves about our grief. Yeah, I was feeling really joyful to make this big announcement and to see the kids. But my grief of the weight of the past 15 months was also coming to the surface. I've been thinking about what kinds of rituals we all might need in order to consciously exhale and start to be present with our accumulated grief of having had to live so differently over this time of the pandemic. I haven't landed on a solid idea yet. So in the meantime, <clears throat> I encourage us to look back and see how, as the hymn goes, God was the wings beneath us. The wind beneath our wings. <laughs> so take a breath. Yes, appreciate the joy you're feeling now, but also acknowledge where you've been and the powerful ways God created you to help you survive. Shed a tear or two if you need to. Until next time, be humble, be grateful, be kind.